Welcome back fellow problem solvers. John East here, Johan Oosthuizen. As you know, today we're looking at formula and how to determine output values. With the previous video it was tables, using tables to determine the output values, and the one before that flow diagrams to determine output values. But the last one in this topic, formula to output values. Share, like and subscribe. Welcome back fellow problem solvers. Hope you're doing well. So again, our continuation and our last input session on functions and relationships. Today we're focusing on formula and how to determine output values by using a formula. So just a quick recap again from our flow diagram. We have our input values and we have our output values. And how do we go from input to output is by using a rule. Now, just for your sake and your understanding, another word for rule is formula. And you'll see I've uh, mentioned that already in the heading. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, question right over here to help explain and help your understanding in this specific work. Okay, so let's read together. If the perimeter of a rectangle is given by p equals 2 times l plus b and the length is represented by l and the breadth is represented by b determine p if l is 12 centimeters and b is 7.3 centimeters so what's going on here first of all they gave us a rule they gave us the formula so that's one thing to notice second of all they gave us the two input values, an L value and a B value. And they want us to calculate the output value. So what is our first step? First step is write down the formula. P is equal to 2 times L plus B. Then we substitute our variables L and B with our input values. So it will be 2 bracket and in L's place we put a 12 centimeters and in B's place we put 7.3 centimeters then the next steps will be to simplify so this will become 2 times what is 12 plus 7.3 it is 19.3 and then what is 2 times 19.3 that will be 38 comma six centimeters and this is how easy it can be if we understand what we are doing so hopefully this helps you so go and practice there's a bunch of word problems you can do with rules input values and output values so have a lovely day and stay tuned for more shortly